the Oklahoma City Thunder, Russell Westbrook, you know, we've known the last couple of weeks, man. He, like the last two weeks or so, man, he's been kind of struggling with his shot. And it's caused his field goal percentage to drop precipitously, man. Um, at one point in time, he was shooting around 49, 50% for the season. And um, there's some things about Russell I don't like. Um, and you're probably like, what? What? You're saying that? Of course he turns the ball over still a little bit too much. All right? Um, not as bad as in some seasons and not as bad as James Harden, but he still turns the ball over too much. And he turned the ball over too much last night at five turnovers. Um, I still think he shoots too many threes. He's not a good three-point shooter. You know, I don't – at the beginning of the year, man, he was he was eschewing that shot. He was shooting maybe about one to two three-pointers a game. I was like, okay, that's cool, but he's kind of been going back to that shot. And I don't like that, you know what I'm saying, because he's not a good three-point shooter. He's only shooting 24% from beyond the arc this year. So why even shoot that shot? I remember um, he was 0 for 8 uh, – in their first encounter with the man, they back to back. Only 422 from the floor. Uh, remember Michael Jordan? He hurt his finger prior to the last Chicago Bulls season. Uh, I think he, he uh, cut a ligament in his, in his finger in his shooting uh, hand. I think it was his ring finger or something like that. But anyway, it affected his outside shooting, especially his three point shot. And after, like, the first month or so of the season, he just kind of said, you know, fuck it with that shot. He just stopped shooting threes. Unless he was wide open, then he might shoot it. Um, I just wish Russell would cut down on the three-point shots. I know it's kind of enticing to shoot that shit sometimes. Um, but unless you're wide open, man, I just don't think Russell should take that shot. Um, I think Russell Russell is better off being a mid-range shooter slash uh, slashing type point guard. I understand he can't keep playing like that forever as he gets older, but, I mean, hell, just become a mid-range shooter, man. You're not a good three-point shooter. But last night, Russell had a bounce-back game. He had 32 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists. And um, he also had four steals in the ball game. And he had his 114th career triple-double. Of course, he's third all-time in that category, behind only Oscar Robinson and Magic Johnson. I think Oscar had 181 triple-doubles in 1,074 games. Magic had 138 triple-doubles in 906 career games. Russell has 114 in 779 career games. Um, in fact, Russell, uh, I believe yesterday declared himself the league's best rebounding, passing, and defensive point guard. Now, on two of those claims, rebounding and passing, statistically, I guess you could say that, he leaves NBA in assist. Although I think that as far as pure passing goes, I think the best passing uh, passing point guard I think is probably Rondo right now. I mean, I, I still think it's Rondo. I think Rondo was in the, a starting situation where he was playing 35, 36 minutes a game. I think he lead the NBA in, in assists. I think he probably averaged like 11 and a half or 12 assists per game or whatever depending on what system he's playing in or his teammates, what have you, whatever. Um, defensive. See, steals can be misleading, though. See, y'all always call me a fanboy, right? Y'all call me a fanboy. I told you I'm not a fanboy, man. I'm not a fanboy. Steals can be misleading. All right, he does lead the NBA with 2.8 steals per game. By far uh, the highest rate in a season of his career. And he is playing uh, 
more concentrated defense this year than in the years past. Um, but steals can be misleading. It can be you got quick hands. It could be that you play, you, uh, play the passing lane as well. Magic Johnson, early in his career, led the NBA in steals twice. It was because he was taking advantage of his size and he was gambling a lot defensively and um, he was playing the passing lanes a lot. And he led the NBA in steals two seasons and was amongst the leaders uh, his first couple of years. But later on, he didn't. He didn't gamble as much, and his steals went down a little bit. But he actually became a better defensive player as he got older. And um, so steals can be misleading. So I don't know if he's the best defensive point guard in the NBA, you know. Uh, But good bounce back game, man. He shot 13 or 24 from the floor. Uh, he's shooting about 42% from the from the field this year. Um, hopefully, Russell can get that up to about 44% at least before the season is out. Um, he's on a down year shooting the basketball. Start off hot. So, it is what it is with Russell, man. You get what you can. I know he's trying to be a little bit more offensively assertive uh, the last couple of games. And sometimes I think the team does need him to be more assertive offensively. Paul George isn't going to score uh, 30 points every night. So we know Russell has that scoring ability. He's led the NBA in scoring twice. So we know he has that ability. Um, He's taking a back seat to to Paul George. But uh, he's capable of being a tremendous scorer. Now, he's not a shooter, but he's capable of being a tremendous scorer. A volume scorer, but scorer. So, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about that one. Tell me what you guys think.